awesome karibu ni tena tena na tena na tena tena na tena hapo hivi to get tv my name ni mtu wa song for each and every one of you when you are enjoy and uh, today we have a special story because most often tunaona nga polisi wakiwa law enforcers and it's normally something that doesn't happen more often kupata ati polisi ameshikwa amepelekwa ndani but today we have a very special person with us and it was James James Otiero and yet akwa na tunaretia how he ended up in prison yet he was a policeman Jemo Je tunaita nanga wakubwa kabisa hapana kuita mkubwa ni sahihi mkubwa Asante asante sana. Asante sana mtoto wa Songo. Eh mimi ni mfurahi sana. Nimesema nimefurahi sana wewe kukuja kufika mpaka mali hapa. Asante sana na karibu. Asante sana kwa kunisha mgeni. Wewe ni umefanya nikuje Kisumu. Asante asante. Umefika Kisumu dala. Karibu na tena na tena. Asante. Tutakuwa natembea sana. Yes. Najua tulipotanda wewe tao. Yes. I didn't know that unaishi huku. So <laughs> venye 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 ile siku yetu go to meet alafu kaniambia ume ume ume, ume rudi mta I was like <laughs> nadhani ume rudi mta hapo hivyo maybe within Nairobi within Nairobi <laughs> Eh hey, mimi kidogo kidogo naenda ni nimefika home because eh hey, nyumbani wapi Kisumu mm. ah sasa hapo na hapo ndio nikajua like hey, lazima tu nitembe Kisumu <laughs> it doesn't matter what you have to go through but yes. lazima tukuje Kisumu otherwise nimefurahi uh-huh. kwa sababu mmetoka mbali Yeah. na mumefika muone hata climate ya huko eh huko climate huko ni mbali si, si different sana na na huko kwetu na oh. naishi Kiambu so pia Kiambu kuna kwa na cool climate oh. kwa hivyo climate ya Kiambu na Kisumu ni kama ni same si 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 mbali eh. asijaachana na mbali asante karibu tu gitu mimi nimefurahi <laughs> nimefurahi sana kwa kazi yenye unafanya asante sana kwa sababu today mm-hmm. uh, people are going to know my life mm-hmm and uh, what i was doing mm-hmm. what i passed through mm-hmm. and i'm also going to encourage others mm-hmm. and a piece of advice peer kwa wale maaskari wenzangu maaskari wenzangu mm-hmm. wajifunze kutoka na mafunzo ile yamepata wow kwa sababu it was better kuniona mm-hmm. hivi <laughs> ni miezi mbili tu niko nje nimetoka ndani na umeunga hivi <laughs> hii ni samaki <laughs> Eh yes, samaki kidogo kidogo na pia neema ya Mungu. Neema ya Mungu. Neema ya Mungu. <laughs> so Mr. James, kwa yes. fursa kwa sababu salimiwa tazamaji wanashangaa. Eh hey, watu <laughs> wana <watu> sahau. <laughs> Wasalimie alafu. Yes, our listeners our viewers those watching us, mm-hmm. we welcome you. Hi. <laughs> we are in Kisumu, Kisumu Dala <laughs> with my best friend Toto Wasonko. Mm-hmm. Tumwakaribisha sana. Okay. Asante <laughs> sana. Karibu <laughs> so Mr. James uh, watu wa juu majina yako yote mimi najua majina yako karibu yote so naweza penda uji introduce alafu from that point tuta endelea tukijua nanga asante mm-hmm. kwa majina naitwa James Otieno mm-hmm. au mm-hmm. lakini ile jina ya mta mm-hmm. naitwa Koli Koli yes hiyo ndiyo inajulikana hapa Kisumu <laughs> uh, Kondele mali tuko hapa Kondele <laughs> najua ni kondele hapa yeah, inajulikana hiyo jina lakini koli koli ni jina mzuri uh-huh. <laughs> unajua kondele uh-huh. inajulikana kwa maneno eh? yeah, yeah, watu, mabaya mabaya uh, yes wanarusha mawe kabisa kuvunja masupermarket yes kubo. kabisa 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 ni watu wako na nguvu wako na nguvu so uh, those are my names uh-huh. yes um, I'm also a former policeman. Eh. Ah, uh, nimekuwa askari. Nimekuwa askari. Baada ya kusoma, but before tumejua yes. umekuaje askari. <laughs> Tunataka kujua jemo amezaliwa wapi, yes. amekuwa wapi. Ah, yes. yeah. uh, nimezaliwa hapa Kisumu. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kisumu County. Mm-hmm. Sub County inaitwa Nyakachi. Nyakachi. Nyakachi ni hapa chini. Maji inabeba watu sana. <laughs> hapo. Kama sasa hivi yenye inanyesha imejaa wale wanaambianga uh, na, na, na rais ama ile ministry usika uh, kama mkiona mvua imekuwa mob mtu hapa part move move yes hey. so my my grandfather moved to wards moroni uh-huh. that is uh, uh, sub county bordering kericho county okay yes so that is where i was born uh-huh. but i was born in hospital 
mm -hmm. uh, Nandi Hills, okay. you know that is uh, a neighbor. Yeah. Uh, the nearest shop store, Liko Up. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. So, Nilezaliwa Pale, mm -hmm. uh, 1989. Wow. Mimi ni mzee kidogo, Niko na meaka 39. Wow. Eh, lakini mwili ni kubwa. Mwili ni kubwa. Ndio train pia. Asante. So umesomea shule wapi? Nimesomea on and on primary, mm -hmm. primary school. Mm -hmm. uh, I passed very well. Wow. Uh, nikafanya KCP mm -hmm. in the year 2001. Wow. The after nika join high school. Uh, shule ingine ndo turdi buoro mm -hmm. iko nyakach. Mm -hmm. Nika toka na B plane. B plane. Yes, toka na B plane. Yeah. I'm gonna be plain. Uh -huh. uh, thereafter. Back uh, in 26, 2006. Two, yes, 2006. Uh -huh. Mona, yeah. you take time even to Maliza High School. Uh, Maliza, I'm Maliza Class 8 mm -hmm. in the year 2001. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to go to Maliza High School. Because I'm going to I'm coming from a polygamous family. Okay. So, I'm going to go to uh, my siblings wale kwa wanasoma mm -hmm. wakanambia ni ngoje wale wanamaliza mm -hmm. so i had to repeat from 3 from 3 mm -hmm. and then i changed school from songo that was a neighboring uh, school to turdiboro mm -hmm. that is why uh, it took one year mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. So, in the morning, we take one year more, so you can join high school, you can come to the Yes, I can go to B. I can end up in the middle, because I can go to the middle of Kingereza. Sana. Sana. I can go to Kingereza, I can go to languages. Hata Kiswahili, yo Kiswahili ni ngumu huku Lakini unaweza ona Kiswahili hapo Nilipata gabi B plus Yes, unilijaribu zana Kupata B plus huku Kiswahili Yo Kiswahili ya ikuwangi budomo yetu But nilipata hiyo So the local schools Zile ziukaribu na home Wakani approach Na nikawa UT And train teacher Ninasaidea bila malipo Lakini I can recall Alikuwa na prepare 500 pa month. pa month na pia si lazima kama iko. <laughs> <laughs> Unafunza whole month. Yes, na una unajua tu UT pia unafundisha subject zote. As in ni languages lakini mwalimu kama hayuko au naambiwa shikilia. Prep ya asubuhi unapigiwa simu enda unishikilie. Jioni enda unishikilie. So I was ever in school and that 500 also ilikuwa ni baati kupa. Kupati. And I needed to eat, I needed to dress. Yes. So life was very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was between the year 2007 mm -hmm. and 2008. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened? After? And then, uh, uh, nikaona advert, mm. uh, siku moja kwa TV, ya kwamba askari wanaenda kuchukuliwa. Mm -hmm. Recruitment. Mm -hmm. Lazima wende ukimbie. Mm -hmm. You go and run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unaweza kuwa na certificate poa, na height poa, uh -huh. kama mimi. Uh -huh. Lakini kama ukishindu wa mbiyo, sasa uwezi pa. Uwezi <laughs> pa. <laughs> so, nikaenda pale kwa kewanja. Mm. Nika compete, mm -hmm. na kwa bati mzuri, nikawa, na one, nikawa one of them. Akta nilikimbia, nilikuwa number one. Eh, Hata kwa mbiyo. But people were so many. Number one. Yes, na hii area unajua tunashia na wale hata wale mandugu yetu wale wa bonda wa bonde la ufa mm. wale wana wanaelewa mbio wana yes mm. hata jana uliona e, wameweni kabisa wamejenga pale London kabisa e. tulikuwa na hao e. but i did not know how i manage was that why i was number 1 <laughs> i don't know uh, maybe because wale recruitment officers wale sema ni, ni one ni, ni, ni one lap <laughs> so i need to put all the effort kwa sababu siko ndaka kurudi kwa ile kazi bila malipo <laughs> na kazi nilikuwa naona <laughs> eh ndio hii kazi hivi ku so ilikuwa ni mguu inipe kazi so hii time unaenda kwenda ku, ku, recruitment yes. ulienda recruitment wapi nilienda place inaitwa wasi wasi awasi. 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 yes nilikuwa yeah. kiwanja ya shule mm. eh. <laughs> just next to dc your office okay yes <laughs> So, meshinda. Ni meshinda. Tukaenda medical, uh -huh. nikapita. Uh -huh. Nikapewa admission letter ya kuingia. Mm. Shida ilikuwa, ni ya kwamba wakati ilikuwa natoka nyumbani kukuja recruitment. Sikuwa ni meleza wazazi. Uh -huh. Kwa sababu they did not want. Mimi no ilikuwa na haraka. So, nikashindua, nilijifita nikikuja. Recruitment. So, nilitoka nikienda shule. Kumbe nilikuwa na imeficha ma certificates nda? Ndani. Ndani. Najua mahali ninae? Unaenda. Ninaenda. Sasa nikaenda, 
bahati mbaya bado mzuri nikachukuliwa sasa i have to leave them at home and how am i going to tell them sasa nikafika nyumbani nikakaa siku moja siku mbili kumbe wale tulikuwa nao kiwanja wengine wameshasema sema ya kwamba kuli amejua sasa mama anadeita after the third day kuli nimesikia wale chukuliwa polisi mbona usemi nikanyamaza nikanyamaza nikamwambia kanyamaza for some minutes alafu nikamwambia mama ni hivyo lakini i'm very sorry i'm very sorry sikukuambia lakini mungu alinisaidia kwa sababu nilikuwa najua hakuna pesa kusimo so watu wakitaja polisi kuchukulia wanaona pesa lakini mimi mungu alinisaidia nichukuliwe free bila hata shilingi moja bila hata ku bila bila hata kuambia na bila hata kulipa anything bila hata connection yoyote yes so nikamtolea ile barua nikampea ile admission letter na niliona kiasi uh, ali smile <laughs> aliona at least unajituma yes ali smile so date ikafika nikaingia pale mba nilikuwa nimechukuliwa side ya admission police administration, administration police okay ilikuwa ngumu maze training iko pale mbakasi <laughs> ile mbio iko pale nilikuwa natamani kurudi nyumbani <laughs> nilikuwa nata, kwa sababu hakuna kulala uniform unapewa uniform moja na uniform lazima uifue lazima pia upige fasi mpaka line itoke hapa ile inaonekana na kiatu pia ni moja ndio unafanya nao zoezi kama kumenyesha unatoa vumbi na mpaka ingare pia kuliko hii azim yule office ambaye anakagua kwa ready kila asubuhi mm. akiangalia hapa anataka anajione anajione yes kama ajioni you are not fit for training so kila morning parade ilikuwa ni ni, ni saa 11 hiyo morning run tumeenda saa 9 na nusu morning run tumekimbia utawala yote tumekimbia utawala yote lakini tunafika mpaka Mombasa ro ndio tunarudi pale unakuja haraka haraka ipate kama kila kitu iko tayari kama nguo kama viatu it means hakuna kulala pale ni kujiwekelea tu yes wewe unapumzika tu baada ya kidogo and you need to be well so each and every morning kwa parade pale yule ofisa on duty atakuwa anauliza nani anataka kwenda nyumbani siku moja nikainua mkono nikasema yes sir kwa sababu training was tough Mm-hmm. it was tough and then training iko pale mbali mbali kuna za arms mm-hmm. za bunduki kuna field craft and tactics field craft and yes, tactics, and tactics. So vile sasa unaweza hepa risasi nataka kuniambia unaweza mimi uwezi nipiga na risasi hata kama uko karibu kwa sababu jinsi mtu akikulenga na mawe unajua unaweza hepa mm-hmm. sasa mimi ukinilenga na hiyo risasi na hiyo speed inakuja uwezi nipata because i know the speed at which uh, a bullet a bullet <laughs> inakimbia i know the angle in which it takes so so long as i have lowered that angle which is 45 degrees uwezi nipata ndio maana unaonanga tu bunduki kilia mahali watu wana roll chin mm. they are just lowering that 45 degrees so i wish ikakupata pale uko umelala chini Yes. <laughs> yes. So that is I ain't maybe unaweza kuwa unatembea na wakora pia wamevamia mahali una shoot any how li you can always dash down. So that is training tulipata pale. So pale ilikuwa ngumu sana. Hiyo ndio course siwezi sahau. Kwa sababu unajua mguu ya ndege. The tile ya ndege. Hapo katikati venye unaniona naweza pita. Sasa ilikuwa ni lazima kila mtu apite pale ndio unaenda lunch. <laughs> daily yes so mimi nikiongeza tu kichwa sasa haiwezi pita hapa hapa imeshika na hapa ni kibogo ninaundwa mpaka hadi ninalia ninaundwa hadi ninalia so that is uh, among the painful things ile nilipitia but Mungu akanijalia hiyo 2009 December nika graduate vizuri na the president former president our beloved uh, the late Mwai Kibaki mm. alikuja akatutoa pale inauguration poa mm. pia akatumia hata bulls kama kumi tumechinjio tumechinjio tukakula vizuri and then final posting nilikuwa naomba Mungu 
ni land central kama Kiambu you know kama Teka mm. ama Nairobi area kuna time ulichukua mkono yes post yes nikaomba kurudi nyumbani kaenda aje wale kataa <laughs> <laughs> baada ya kusema kuuliza nani anataka kwenda nyumbani nikainua mkono yes sir sasa wakasema dabu dabu ni kukimbia mbele ni akikimbia mbele wakaona wakasema rudi huko ndani ikabidi rudi kwa sababu viboko zinakuja nyuma nikatoa hiyo kwa kile so unafurahia venye wako kuitikisha uende huko yes nafurahia kabisa so, kwa sababu wangeni allow pia ninge lose so fast forward mmekula mbuzi yes, yes, na mangombe yes time ya kupostiwa na expect sasa ni postiwe down country mali poa kwa sababu kuna mali tunaita forward areas sababu pale college kuna tv kuna vitu mm. mm. na watch pale mm-hmm. tunaona vile siolo wa ina umana unaona wakora wanasumbua sumbua hapo isiolo ndio niliona nimepostiwa bwana eh. sasa list imeandikwa imewekwa kila mahali mm. naona wengine wanatoka Nairobi area wanafurahi mimi kwenda pale naona isiolo nikasema hii hii nimemaliza nimemaliza kabisa <laughs> mimi na maisha yangu ah imeisha imeisha <laughs> basi tuka report pale isiolo mm. nika kwa headquarters pale nikakaa hapo uh, ndio sasa Mungu alinionekania ya kwanza mm. kwa sababu pale kwa training nilikuwa na nimeperform vizuri sana kwa arms mm-hmm. na nilikuwa naona target sana kuliko kila mtu kwa ulengaji yes. shabaha kwa 2009 mm-hmm nilikuwa the best ya kulenga shabaha azin sasa hata nikisimama ninaweza toa masikio isikio moja naweza toa na bullet bila kuguza ngozi na hata pia risasi naweza pitisha kwa kichwa ikunyoe bila kuguza hata ngozi so kwa ile language tunasema sub shooter mm. ili nisaidie i don't know if it was one of the reasons nikapelekwa pale mahali wakora iko to to maintain peace maybe because serikali pia mm. wako na akili nyingi yeah. so while i was there hapo mm. ndio sasa uh, teka super highway ilikuwa inakaribia kuisha mm-hmm. na ilikuwa inajengwa na kampuni ya mtu anaitwa China anaitwa Mr. Wei from China. Who who we? Yes, that is a name. Mm. Yes, the name of the manager who was there. But before to make up all yes. a lot of people don't understand the difference between administration's police mm. na na regular. Na regular police. Yes. Administration police ni nani? Yes. So by then, mm. administration police ni APs. Okay. By then they were working under under the chiefs mm-hmm. and other the under the sub chiefs mm. and uh, under the dios and the district commissioners mm. the administration part of it mm-hmm. ukianza na rais inakuja mpaka hapa chini kwa kwa assistant chief mm. the uh, administrators also so the mm. people the people in in the hierarchy yes. the government yes. in the mlikuwa yes. wagand yes okay. and that is why ofisi yetu uh, by then ilikuwa ni pale Arambe house okay yes yeah. mm. but now uh, the regular police with them mm. uh, sana 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 mm. and you uh, they have uh, powers hata ya ku make file na kupeleka mtu hata hata pale kutini okay with us also we have arresting powers mm. But, but now eh, lakini file. wale wako na power zaidi kwa sababu by then mm. hata APs walikuwa na kambi tu lakini wako na cell inamaanisha APs walikuwa na shika mtu lakini una mali ya kuweka mm. ama huko na tempura na wanaweka kwa nyumba yako ambayo <laughs> hata akijinyonga ndani unasikia bao ni legal so wewe unashika then you want over to police mm-hmm. so the cells were in the police station mm-hmm. but I'm happy now because of the merger uh, Uh, ile unganishwa okay. na kuunganishwa hiyo pia nitaongea baadaye mm. kwa sababu imesaidia sana okay. and kama ingeunganishwa hata baada kabla nipate shida singepata shida okay. because there are several things that uh, we do are not learning like human rights and the constitution mm. lakini unapata hizo the law inaf- inafundishwa pale kiganjo okay. na zi kuwa emba emba okay. yes that is why instances ni mingi mm. na zikuwa mingi sana kwa administration kuliko pale 
regular police. And is it the truth uh, there, there, there is rumor that goes around at the uh, regular police na ipi wana kwanga na beef? It is true because <laughs> as I speak, me ni meokoka. And uh, I am just saying the truth. Pale akona anga kuelewana. Kwa sababu, akona kuelewana. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu, kitu ya kwanza ni hile nyenye ni mesema. Ni ya kwamba, wewe ni askari, unahitu wa IP. Mimi ni nahitu wa IP. Lakini, auna charge sheet ya kucharge na ayo mutu ukipata na makosa. Mm. You have arresting powers but I want sell ya kuweka hiyo mtu. Sasa wewe ni kama ni mtu ya mko. Ni mtu ya mko. Unashika, unapeleka. Mm. You see, mm. unapelekea hao. Mm. Unashika the other side ndio wanaenda kupeleka charge sheet na kupeleka kutini. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Another one, ni ya kwamba pale college, mm. hata instructors pale walimu wale wako kwa college pale. During training wanakuambia wewe wewe ni EP usiregerege kama kama Kenya police you see so hiyo <laughs> mentality inakuwa kutoka kwa college unaona <laughs> <laughs> yes from the instructors inakuwa ni hivyo and then ukikuja sasa hapa kwa ground sasa kama mnafanya kazi hiyo mentality kumbe iko mpaka kwa kiganjo pale kwa sababu mkimit maybe in duty Mm. ile ina involve maneno ya sheria unakuta regular land anawekwa mbele mm-hmm. administration anawekwa nyu mm-hmm. anawekwa nyuma mwenye mm-hmm. nasemea hapo lazima awe ni regi, regi. regular mm-hmm. but trainings are the same yes so si ati nyi mna guingia nda hard yes. training yes. kuliko yes in fact uh, what makes the difference ni hiyo tu nimesema lakini training is the same okay. but now tofauti iko pale mm. kwa sababu when you see uh, during that year hata zile vitu wanapewa mm. unakuta regular wanapewa magari mingi uniform ni mingi na wanazukana division police officer mtu ameserve kiatu ameshona amepiga keraka mpaka sasa kuna mahali anaweza keraka nguo pia imepiga keraka inatakana nguo iko na kala moja lakini unakuta ta black iko hapo unakuta red kama hii yangu iko hapo white iko hapo so ni kwa nguo the same exactly kwa nguo the same so admission police pia walikuwa wanaona uh, kidogo hawako uh, wanapewa same na na wale but i'm happy for now yeah. kulikuwa na maja mm. kulikuwa na maja some of the sure police wakachukuliwa pale wengine wakabaki kama sipu na that is security of government installations oh. eh ikiwa sasa roles iko tofauti mm-hmm. as in kuchunga maneno na pesa maneno na bank ku escort hizo hiyo imebaki sipu ambayo ni epi ah. yes lakini sasa maneno ya court maneno ya, ya law and order yote yeah. imerudi kule awesome yes so saya kuna beef saya hakuna beef <laughs> but there's a problem <laughs> there's a problem but there's yes. a beef there's a kuna beef so yeah. fast forward uh, ume umetoka umetume ume isiolo mm. tikaru ndio hiyo imeanza yes tikaru sasa imeanza uhi uh, uhi uh, uh, yes kumbe bado unakumbuka hiyo ji eh uhi that guy <laughs> nikiwa nimewekwa pale sasa kana ni mchunge kama bodyguard yake <laughs> na immediately tulimaliza pale from isiolo nikapewa kazi pale ya kuwa bodyguard yake among kulikuwa isiolo kama 2000 policemen and 2000 admission policemen lakini nilichukuliwa in fact walikuwa naangalia ile record mm-hmm. so nikiwa na yeye tukamaliza uh, thika super highway wakapewa contract ya isiolo isiolo merele la like mm-hmm. samis road mm-hmm. to marsabit mm-hmm. ikabidi sasa tunaingia mustuni huko sasa mm-hmm. tukaenda pale nikukaa kwa hema mm-hmm. hema kidogo na wako na nyumba mzuri sana lakini sisi tu kwa hema kwa hema pale kama hujawakisha moto elephants wanaingia dofu zinakuja mpaka unasikia inapita kando ya jina pitia kwa nyumbani yes inabidi unatoka unatoka kama unatoroka kwa sababu inaweza beba nyumba <laughs> uzuri haikufuati inatoka kiobeba ni kienda so noka so beba gani yako unaenda kuli zingine umewa umewa it was tough because it was around 60 kilometers from Isiolo town na mwisho wa mwezi tulikuwa tunapelekwa tuna buy chakula kama ni cabbage 
unabai ile na kupeleka mpaka the end of the month so ni bado mnajipikia si tunajipikia kama mimi najipikia mm-hmm. eh nilikuwa tunajipikia si hata wana tunajipikia mm-hmm. kama ni nyanya wewe unaoa nyanya inaenda kupeleka mpaka mwezi wa mwezi ukinunua ile imeiva shauri yako <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu gari kukuja town sio ni mara wa mara moja mara moja mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. then i had month again so life ile ile hivyo nikawa isilo mpaka 2012 from 2009 Mm-hmm. Bati mzuri pia Mungu akanisaidia nikapata transfer nikaenda mpaka Busia. So ukawachana na Is, uh, uhi. Yes, nikawachana na uhi. Lakini nilikuwa nalipa poa uh-huh. kwa sababu beside the normal yetu salary pia kulikuwa na allowance pale oh. kama 29,000. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So umeletwa na huko Busia. Yes, uh-huh. nikaingia Busia. Nikaingia mm-hmm. Busia tao. Mm. Nika wekwa pale pale kare kwa hiyo gate moja ya kwenda Burundi Kongo mm. South Sudan Uganda itself mm. sasa mimi ndio nachunga pale I'm manning that gate yes pamoja with my colleagues so I was there so nikawa hapo for some time pia nikabadilishwa nikaingia judiciary na ukiona hiyo train inaenda yes lakini kiari ilikuwa na marupurupu mingi 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 ile tu mtu anaweza toka na kubaia soda na kubaia maji but it was good yes it was good nikaingia kule judiciary pale nikawa bodyguard ya judge ya high court judge nilichunga judge statu okay eh nilichunga wanjiku cherere she was my best friend She is when a judge now. Yeah. Eh? Mm-hmm. Nikachunja chunga pia honorable Gola. Mhm. Uh, Gola na mskia. Gola is also a judge. Mm-hmm. Nikakuwa na Anne. Madam Anne, I think is judge Meru now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nika nao kama personal bodyguard yao mm-hmm. at different times. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so nilikuja nikapata shida. Mm-hmm. Kwa residence ya judge kama asubuhi nimeamuka vizuri kwa sababu nilikuwa na kana familia mm. nilikuwa na bibi okay. na mtoto mmoja utawa lini <laughs> saa hii bado naogopa kwa sababu there is something that happened okay. lakini nilioa 2010 eh mm. one year kama nimeajiriwa okay. nikaoa mm-hmm. na nikajaribu tena nikamtafutia kazi mm. jinsi Kenya hii pia iko. Yeah. Eh, Mungu akanisaidia na kumtafutia kazi. Sasa nikamuingiza ile the other side mm. ya radio la ile tulikuwa tunaongea. Uh, Kenya police. Yes, Kenya police. Mm-hmm. Pia nikamtafutia posting, akapostiwa Busia. Mm. So tunatoka kwa nyumba moja. Okay. Akienda job, mimi oh. pia naenda job. Naenda job. Naenda job. Mm-hmm. It was a good family. Uh, lakini shetani pia alijaribu akaleta maneno tarehe 15 mwezi wa sita 2015 saa moja na nusu nimeamuka mm. nimeenda nikarinew bunduki kwa sababu nilikuwa na pistol yangu ya kazi mm. nikarinew nikaingia kazi kurinew ya kurinew azini na ngalelewa kama kila kitu iko mm-hmm. risasi ziko zote mm. kama inabeba 20 mm. it is in a good condition na pia iko mm-hmm. and then they update the arms movement record oh so ni kuinua yes. ni yes. ku update to yes. record yes alafu mimi nakana nakana na bunduku nimekaa nayo mm-hmm. from ni ajirewe na sijawahi mess na bunduki njai mess na yes, sijawahi mess na bunduki so hii date tarehe 15 mwezi wa 6 2015 nikatoka nika renew nikaingia kazi mm-hmm. ofisi yetu jua sasa hii peace wana operate kwa DC yeah na kwa DC Busia ni directly opposite na court. Nikaingia pale ya high court. Da kidogo napata phone call ya my wife. Nika receive. Akaniambia daddy kuja chai imeiva kwa sababu si nilitoka kama sija kunywa chai. Yeah. Ikabidi nifanye nini? Uende rudi. Mm. Nikamwambia Kenya, Kenya was my colleague. He was a driver to the judge. Nikamwambia Kenya, nishikilie kidogo ni rush. Mm. Ni kunywe chai alafu ndudi. Andugo drive tulikuwa na stay na yeye 
kwa residence ya judge okay. kurudi that was the beginning of bad news as you can see hata my mood ime change yeah. kwa sababu nimekumbuka what happened mama alikasirika your wife my wife mm -hmm. nikapata kama amekasirika anaongea hadi anatetemeka nikajaribu kumkul alikuwa amekasirika juu binadamu sasa zingine anakasirika mm. nini ileleta makasiriko na hii hasira yote nilikuwa nimesahau simu moja ndogo ya hii kwa nyumba na kwa sababu nilikuwa nimependa wasichana mm. by then nilikuwa nimependa sana ni kawaida ya maskari wengi yeah. yes nilikuwa nimependa wasichana msichana mmoja kumbe ame text na ni kama alikuwa akifollow akapata na wakaongea na wakatusiana mm. so this was the cause of everything nilipofika nikaona mood yake ime change sikufikiria kurudi tena nikasema wacha nijaribu ku solve nijue shida iko wapi mm. akaanza kuongea ya kwamba nimemcheat for long nimemcheat for long nikamwambia akae tuongee akakaa nikaingia kwa bedroom kwa bedroom nilikuwa na kitanda kubwa na pale mbele nilikuwa nimetengeneza kadro yenye pistol inaingia ukitoa magazine mm. naweza weka na inaingia na una lock mm. so siku lock nikaweka tu nikakuja kwa sitting room nikakaa ukaa tukaanza kuongea naona analia nikamwambia tuongee tu kama nimekosa unisame akusikia kwa sababu ya hasira akaingia ndani kwa sababu munduki ilikuwa hapa kila siku na sasa hii niko na med ako na msichana yangu pia ako dogo alikuwa na 5 years mm. alikuwa na 3 uh, uh, years at that time mm. mama akaingia my wife akachukua ile munduki akakok so alipokok ile neno aliniambia ya kwamba leo ninakuua umenichezea muda mrefu nikapiga hadi magoti niki bleed asimeue na niliona akuviri serious ile kitu niliona ni kama Mungu alinisaidia alichukua hiyo bunduki anaongea kama anatoka nje na nikapata nafasi nikafunga mlango nilipofunga mlango akakaribia sasa nimefunga niko na watoto ndani nikapiga nduru kama mtoto mdogo hmm. but because it was like an estate na ilikuwa ni resident at the houses zilikuwa mbali hakuna mtu alikuja simu yangu nikachukua nikapigia immediate boss yangu senior sergeant alikuwa anaitwa Mariba nikamwambia nimepata shida niko kwa shida mkuje kwa resident aliniambia anakuja hmm. lakini anangoja gari gari gani bado imetoka hmm. So wife anaongea na anapiga kelele sana pale nje karibu na mlango. Nikasema nataka kutime yeye. Nikafungua mlango kidogo. Nikaenda nikashika mkono yake mara moja na alikuwa huge kuliko mimi. Mm -hmm. Tukaanza ku wrestle the gun in attempt of my self defense kwa sababu my life was in danger. Waka wrestle hata hii alama unaona hapa. Yeye mm -hmm. hii ni makucha yake kwa sababu she wanted to press the trigger ndio risasi itoke mm -hmm. so in the course of struggle tunangangania bunduki ni mnyanganye asilipige risasi ikatoka and when the gun when the bullet got discharged ikapiga ye yeah, on the left arm on the upper shoulder mm -hmm. hapa remember it has not been fired yeah ni accidental yeah. because it was not fired on a given range yeah ikakwama haikotoka because haikuwa na enough velocity yeah yes ikotoka ikakwama pale i could not take that time yes. exactly yeah. so nilikuwa na gari nikambeba she was heavy kama watoto wananisaidia and they saw everything that happened nikilea nikamweka kwa gari kwa kiti ya nyuma nikampeleka mpaka hospitali pale busia anaitwa Tanaka mm. ni private hospital mm. wakamfanyia first aid wakastitch that side because 
alikuwa na bleed sana mm-hmm. before 20 minutes magari zilifika pale hospitali kama zote i can remember zilikuwa kama 12 vehicles pale ndio nika shikwa washikwa na makarao sasa shikwa sasa imagine polisi anashikwa sasa na wenye zake wale amekuwa akitembea nao akifanya kazi nao they are still me nikaingia kwa sel kwa kwani mapolisi wananga mabeshte wako lakini sahi sasa kila kitu imebadilika <laughs> kila kitu imebadilika hapa ndoto ya songo kila kitu imebadilika hata mimi sasa ninalia cuz i could not imagine what happened and therefore nikaingia sel within 10 minutes nikapata majamaa wako pale ndani ya sel wale wananijua baada ya bia eh uti bosi wanaita uti kolini ya huko uti umefika hapa <laughs> siku jibu majamaa wakaniangalia angalia nini niko nayo kwa mfuko aya eh pia una perembo mbele hapo ndani alafu ananiambia pale ni mahali ya kukojoa na hapo ndio mahali ya kuenda cho kwa seli ya police pale sasa kulikuwa na usi yesu mzuri sana and uh, alikuwa anaitwa gasheru mzee wakati hii asubuhi kwa meingia ni kama alipigiwa simu na usi crime ya kwamba kuna kitu imefanyika akakuja haraka haraka wakati ameingia akanitetea when i was inside i could hear him talk kwa nini mmeweka askari na mabusu na raia ndani yes akaona wale wanifungulie na nilipofunguliwa akaniambia nitoke wakaniambia niingie kwa ofisi yake pale kulikuwa na kiti nikakaa he treated me very well and uh, alikuja akakufa baadaye mm. na may his soul rest in peace hapo mm. ndio nilipata pia some courage na some humanity because of him mm-hmm. akaniambia pole pole the incident has happened and uh, the normal procedure will be followed that normal procedure is that my fingerprint shall be taken okay yes. kuna kitu bado sijaelewa bibi yako mm. umefaya am amestichiwa mm. is she okay she's okay she's okay she's even talking so yes i've left her there i've now been arrested ujio kufaya yes gun. yes so so nyinyi mnashika ngo ujio kufaya gun kwa sababu nimeumiza mtu okay okay exactly okay. kuna ile misuse of fire oh yes so i was waiting for the offense ile litachajiwa nayo mm. because the gun was mine mm-hmm. nikachukuliwa fingerprint nikapelekwa kotini kotini nikapelekwa low court mm-hmm. nikachajiwa so, na attempted murder si misuse of fire attempted murder so case ime change the case ime change na pia imekuja juu mm. attempted murder kujaribu kuua nikapewa cash bail pati mzuri Mungu alitetea nikapelekwa mbele ya yule jaji yule yes bishte mwenye ulikuwa una nini exactly. na linda exactly mm. kwa sababu alikuwa anijua mm. pia kama good boy hajawahi mm. ona maneno mabaya kwangu akatumia sheria akanipea cash bail ya 30k na nikalipa nikajibeli nje mm-hmm. that same day same hour siku ile atakwa nyuma kwa mlevi ni watoto wako cuz i wanted to save life nikarudi mpaka pale hospitali so Nik- the, 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 the time that you are arrested and yes. taken to the police station yes. ulika police stations kungapi very hata siku maliza siku it was very few hours around 3 hours 3 hours kama yes. wamekubuka yes. na washa kupeleka kotini yes. so i mean book finger pen imechukuliwa mm. niko kotini ulishikwa masaa gani uh, asubuhi okay Yes, it's understandable. Mm-hmm. So you want to save life? Yes. Ulienda wapi? Nikarudi mpaka pale hospitali. <laughs> Nikapata wife anandikiwa referral. Anapelekwa MTRH. Moi teaching a referral was all the date. Lisasi bado haijatolewa. Iko ndani haijatolewa. 
hata tukujaribu kutolewa haikutolewa tukaenda mpaka imeshonwa imeshonwa pale tu ameshona tu hapo nje hapo tu mahali iliingilia ndio ameshona just first aid kaenda mpaka moiti chini and refer all stall pale nakumbuka kaweka ward 4 mm. rehema ward which is a normal ward yeah. it is normal for any other patient but i could see me this was a, was an emergency mm. akawekwa pale in normal ward so wakati amewekwa pale nikaribu kuuliza uh, kama anaweza pelekwa kwa theater na ni lini ili uh, saidike wakaniambia uh, I just wait uh, they will respond to me. Nika ka after two days bado ako pale. And this time familia yake of the wife wamekuja. Hmm. Familia yangu wamekuja. And these people are not in good terms. Because my family wako na mimi. Family yake wana. Na yule wanasema mimi uliko atakuwa mtoto. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it was tough. Then Those all attendants I, I, I thought they realized this. And uh, they had to play cool and call us and talk to us. And because I had no problem with them, mimi nilika. Nilipopewa bond pale, I was supposed to report every Monday. Mm. I can remember nikiwa pale MTRH kuna Monday ilifika kama niko hapo after one week. Mm. Nikapigia Osi Crime, alikuwa anaitwa Jare Ndege nikamwambia uh, mimi ninasimamia kila kitu ya fedha na, na, na wife niko naye kama naweza report the following day akaniambia kama wewe ni unamhudumia mm. wewe muhudumie tu haina shida kumbe alikuwa anaweka kwa trap nikakosa ku report hiyo monday mm-hmm. iyo tuesday asubuhi kabla nitoke mtrh ninapigiwa simu kwa sababu by that time nilikuwa nimepata wakili mm. ya kwamba wale warrant of arrest imetolewa ya kwamba nime miss kwenda ku report eh. yes i had to go explain myself mm. and the judge akaelewa na aka lift the warrant of arrest arrest nikaendelea na bond na mjende nikarudi mm. hospitali mm. there was nothing which was going on kwa sababu cases ile ina involve police even the doctors wana ugopa mm-hmm. so after three days mimi nikaomba pale yule tarehe 18 nikaomba kama anaweza kuwa referred to Medi Hill Hospital mm-hmm. na wakakubali wakaniambia i can just clear the bill mm-hmm. and but mzuri tulikuwa na NHIF both of us mm-hmm. tukatumia na tukapewa discharge mm-hmm. tukampeleka mpaka mpaka Medi Hill Hospital Mm-hmm. So pale Medi Hill Hospital aka tibiwa akapeleka kwa kwa, kwa X-ray wakaona uh, mali hiyo kitu ilikuwa ime lodge mm-hmm. and then they told me ya kwamba what they, uh, they should do what we should do ni ya kwamba tumpeleke St Luke's Orthopedics Hospital ndio ina deal na maana ya bonds the orthopedic part of it the whole body i paid 18000 there and ikaenda tuna maana hiyo for x-ray kwa sababu alikuwa ananiambia the human body is divided into three all this i was doing because i was trying to save life mm-hmm. nikapata pale discharge nikapeleka st luke's nipo peleka st luke's hospital that was on 19th alikuwa anatibiwa vizuri sana na alikuwa scheduled apelekwe theater ili risasi itolewe on tarehe 24 mm-hmm. Then unfortunately on 22nd on 22nd akaniita 22nd uh, 21st satano ya usiku nilikuwa na yeye na madada zangu kwa dada yangu mimi anifuata anaitwa Eliza wife akaniita na sika kuja akaniambia ananiita nikaenda akaniambia baba Sheril msana yangu na yeye anaitwa Sheril Mm. Ningependa uende Busia. Na mwambie Eliza akuje. Nikamwambia nimesikia mama. Nikatelemka chini. 
na sasa pia wananitoa kwa sababu walikuwa wanaangalia wameona kama walikuwa wame sense uh, ni, vile kulingana na training yao walikuwa mnaona kuna changes big sack to live na behave nilipofika chini nikaitwa tena ni kwamba ananiita kukuja ile kitu ananiambia ni kwamba anemsamee na pia mimi pia nikamwambia ya kwamba nimemsamee ndeka tena muka nikamwambia nimekusamea nitafanya chenye umesema ndeka tena muka lakini si kuenda busia but my sister Elisa nikamwambia akuje akakuja mm. akakana ye so the following morning atukulala tulikuwa tunakaa tu pale chini nikarudi na familia toka kaa hili sana alikuwa na yeye na Nancy Spade. My elder sister anaitwa Goriti. Akaniambia, "We want you to go, brother. We want you to go back to Busia." Uh, I I I I try to question why. Mm. Uh, Akaniambia just like that. Then one of my aunts anaitwa Nyango Wozia. She stays in Kitale but by this time walikuwa pale wote. Mm. Akaniambia uh, Mama Sheri has passed. There might be rising tension, so you go to Busia. A lawyer is waiting for you. Nikatoka, nilikuwa na gari. Nikamwambia uh, my younger brother to pande twende. Tulipofika Mungoma, mm-hmm. my phone was losing network. I don't know why. Jaribu ku call, muta wizi nisikia. Then nikaona ni ya kwamba there is something wrong i used my brother's phone nika call advocate na nikatoa kaniambia nitoe line yangu mm. eh so to communicate busia pale kuna mali inaitwa kurinda mm. just before ufike busia karibu na wing bridge some one kilometer to busia town mm. tukaenda tukamkuta advocate pale akaniambia what you do tunaenda kwa nyumba yangu usiende kwa nyumba yako tukaenda pale the following morning nikaenda kutini this time now now i was not arrested mm. but i now presented myself to go to go to with him on monday yes on monday. yes okay so uh why fear ko tangu the incidents of you like kuvutana na gun to the day and a day day how long did it take it took uh, around three weeks akiwa na bado na risasi exactly akiwa risasi haijatolewa ata by the time anakufa hiyo risasi haikutolewa risasi ilikuja kutolewa during mm. post mortem that is what happened it was so painful and because i could talk with the doctors they could tell me that it is not in a bad place mm-hmm. yes so and why were they taking this long mm. they were taking long mm-hmm. because matters involving police cases the doctors normally fear okay. and i guess because there was a, a, there was an indian doctor that was so friendly to us i remember i approached him on 21st and i asked him about the delays he told me that there is a letter that was written by ocs eldoret mm-hmm. not even busia eldoret that uh, they are aware that i have colluded with the doctors for the bullet to be removed so that the doctor will give me the bullet and that bullet is their ex beat in court look at those words that the bullet should not be removed because i've colluded with the doctors so that they give me the bullet and it is already their exhibit in court when it is inside a person at that time i told the doctor that why can't you take her to theater on your own i will not be present there so that you save life i am here mm-hmm. when called to appear before the court i will appear Yeah. Yes, I'm not busy with the bullet and and kuaribu shauri yote. No. I can even go home and you remove the bullet. He said that when there is a letter 
they also fear. Mm -hmm. That is what happened. Until uh, I lost my wife, and uh, we had one child, mm -hmm. called Cheryl. Wakati nimekuja, case sasa imepanda. So now, mm -hmm. fast forward, umeenda kwa lawyer wako home, mm -hmm. Monday, mna yes. kuripoti. Yes. Tukaenda na yei, si kuenda peke yangu. Tukaenda na wakili, mm -hmm. in court. Mm -hmm. Lipo fika, mm -hmm. uh, tukapata charge sasa, imekua enhanced. Mm -hmm. From attempted murder, murder to because murder. she was talking, he was alive, he was, she was okay, to now murder. They were rushing to jail me, and they were rushing for a tougher case, but uh, God was on my side. So is it, mm -hmm. is it legal? Umeshtakiwa na attempted murder mse dedi ya kiwa hosi under the care of the the, the, the doctors it change kesi ya kukiwa kutini. Is it legal? Uh, what is there in Okisoma uh, criminal procedure code yeah. the CPC inaruhusu kitu na hitwa charge sheet amendment so the original charge sheet was reading attempted murder mm. But now they want to fix an offense. Vile tu na yona. Na kwamba ni memada na sijamada. This person was the answer of the doctor. They amended the charge sheet to a charge in Iko Juka Bisa. Yes. The highest. Yes. We knew, but we could not oppose. Because to the court Nagoya, Atakama Watanifunga, appeal Iko. We'll appeal, and that will be one of our grounds. So, nikachukua fresh plea, nikanyimua bond, nikaingia kwa jela. So now, before to me ingia remand, because I know tender direct remand, if you are like a were you like in good terms, easy times out there? Like? Yes, we were in good terms. Mm -hmm. And throughout the obstacles, she called me daddy. Throughout Obstall, she was talking, and she was talking to me in a good way, and there is no time she quarreled me. Mm. The last time, two instances on 21st. The Akufe 22nd, Sasita Yausiku. She called me. Nakanambia oh, yeah. yeah. And then she called me the second time. Kuniambia ya kwamba, nimsame. Yeah. Our last words, exactly. So there was nothing wrong. Nakuna kitu alikuwa menisikilia na pia mimi. Nakuna kitu alikuwa na menisikilia at that time. So the charges may change. Mesome a fresh plea, menyangan your bond. Did you accept? Neka nyangan your bond, neka ingia remand. Siku kubali. Nikajaribu mara nyingi ku apply for bond. Nikaenda hadi Bungoma. Advocate akaenda mpaka Bungoma. Wakili akaenda mpaka Bungoma. Under certificate of urgency kutafuta bond ilikuwa ni ngumu. So wife akazikwa kwangu in my home when I'm not there. Just imagine. Watu wamekuja the burial is taking place in my home, but I'm not present. Watu wanalea mwenye amekufa, na watu wananilea tena. In fact, I can remember, I was told that my mom alitoroka nyumbani, alikuwa meenda kujiuwa, ikabidi atafutwe, di wakampata in the nearest forest, almost committing suicide, because of me vile alikuwa amenipenda na ananiona siko and then at that time kwa sababu maaskari wengi wakipata anga shida kama hiyo pia wanajiua mm. so there was somebody who told ha that your son pia ameshajiua so my mom lost hope na akaamua pia kujimaliza yeah, until akatafutwa na my siblings wakamwambia the reality that your son is alive only that 
So how how did all this scenario kujua your wife how could treat you a juya barua and she had a chance to leave ame dedi ame zikukiwa remand how how was that for you yes that enmity between admission police and the regular police ilikuwa affect ilikuwa hapa ika affect kila kitu mm. the ap wako saidi yangu mm-hmm. the regular police wako saidi ya wife saidi ya wife watu yake na wataki kujua ma you had a relationship or anything sahi sasa maneno ya kuona kuona hata waongele in fact there is a senior sergeant called uma who who saying that hiyo ilikuwa ni kama stay <laughs> I, i i remember i, I even took the diary diary and paid and, and I, i followed all the customary laws mm. yes mm. it was legal it was legal we went have the barija fidavid that we sworn in court mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. so hiyo enmity ilikuja na that enmity ndio ile sababisha hata wife akufe kwa sababu alikuwa na chance ya kuishi lakini kwa sababu ap ndiye amefanya hii kulingana na Kenya police mm. ap lazima afungwe na lazima afungwe na lazima afungwe badala ya kuangalia maisha kwanza atibiwe oh, this person was talking for three weeks the doctor told me that indian guy that yeye ile kitu imeaffectiwa ni hapo tu but then baada ya theater atakuwa tu sawa but atakuwa kwa wheelchair for some time that is what that doctor told me so when i was i got the news that she passed ata mimi karibu ni collapse exactly so i did not know mm. that my wife could pass but so apa the life ilikuwa na wazazi apa mkono ingefanya like asitembe alikuwa anasema mm. because ile ime clock up imekwama hapa okay. and there is a connection between the collarbone collarbone na, na and the backbone okay. yes so because pia imekaa muda mm. bila 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 kuito, ku, kuitoa to okay. her to, to the doctor alikuwa anaona kama the backbone would be affected, affected. Okay. lakini alikuwa ananiambia atakuwa sawa lakini atakuwa kwa wheelchair for some time okay. but atafanya nini mm. atatembea okay. yes yes so i So by the time sasa niko kwa jela mm. I really wanted to know and I made a lot of inquiries nikiongea na wakili to bring me postmortem report because I really wanted to know mm. the cause of death mm. in normal circumstances kama eno ya bunduki ninajua because nimefanya criminology mhm nimefanya criminology mod criminology law yes nimefanya criminal law uh-huh. and security management uh-huh. in mount kenya university uh-huh. nilifanya kama ninafanya kazi wow yes <laughs> eh nilikuwa nafanya part time mhm hadi nikamaliza wow yes congrats asante yeah that is when i was in busia Okay. And when I was in Isiolo hata kama segundo ilikuwa pass mm. tough I was going to Meru every Saturday and I had to undertook certificate in human resource management mm. in the University of Nairobi. Wow. Eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was very sober when I was in remand and uh, I really wanted to know the cause of death because when ile foundation wa kule college kwa maneno ya arms and maneno ya bullets mm. ya kwamba a gun can kill within 8 hours if it is a death that is caused by the gun but past 8 hours it can be a secondary disease caused by the bullet mm-hmm. nikaletewa postmortem report ikaandikwa ya kwamba the cause of death is pneumonia secondary to gunshot you get that mm-hmm. the cause of death pneumonia secondary to gunshot i said 
there is no problem mm. lakini Mungu yuko yeah. ni Mungu that i began my journey in prison askari mwenye alikuwa akishika watu akipeleka kwa jela sasa ninakaa busia pale na wale nilipeleka <laughs> nikakutana na ujo ujo <laughs> ujo eh maskari walikuwa na jaribu sana askari jela eh. walikuwa wanizumbua kwa nini walikuwa naona kama niko na pesa so kila saa walikuwa wanaleta search kila saa kila saa ujo is here nasema ukweli ama uongo walikuwa wanizumbua mpaka sasa ngine walikuwa nauliza mbona mnanisumbua mm. yes nikangangana kupata bond so like nikuulize mm. umeshikwa mm. i've ever been arrested and in prison i have never no like for me yes. na yes. 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 i've yes. ever been arrested mm. and in prison mm. na hiyo time nilikuwa ngafala so askari mwenye amenishika mm. na kan in prison alikuwa my enemy mm. and i know this something that with so many people in prison they hate the arresting officers In your case, umepatana watu ushaipeleka huko. Unakanisha na probably the same word. Yes. How was it for you like? Askari anakusumbua. Mm. Unakanisha na watu ushaishikisha. Mm. It was tough. Uh-huh. It was very tough for me. Hata nilikuwa na naomba Mungu dunia iishe. Kwa sababu uh-huh. mwenye anapita kando anasema angalia maaskari hao alikuwa anatushika yeye pia yako ndani. Mwingine anapita kana anga mjinga wewe. Hata ukienda kuchota maji unataka kuoga, unataka kukunywa maji. Ile manene inangolewa pale. Mtu ana two story. Kumbe askari pia anamezangia kwa jela. Hao ndio wanataisa watu hapa wanaa kama hao ni above the law. Ili nisikie mimi ni mnyanyamaza tu. But now I thank God because the prison officers mm-hmm. pia baada ya siku moja wakaniweka kwa isolation cell. Mm-hmm. Nikiwa pale peke yangu. Mm-hmm. Yes. But then so for what reason? Uh, because of uh, my safety. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So kapata bond. Nikapata bond after six months. Six months. Mtu ajai shikwa when you meza kushikana. It's your first experience. Yes. Remand. How was it? Chawa <laughs> inakukula. Nikwaza dia chawa. Chawa inakukula. Hata uoge mara mia kwa siku. Chawa ikuwa chili. Na pia ni kubwa kubwa. Ukitoka toka kwa jua ndio zinatoka vizuri. Chakula. Ile maragwe yenye haijaiva. Unaona maragwe ile ngumu, ile imekausha na stima. Alafu haijaiva. Na hiyo ngumu ngumu yote huwezi kula. Ile 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 ile, ile ugali pia pale ni, ni it is in between ugali and uji. <laughs> so hii kwa hapo katikati. You see uwezi chukua hata na mkono. Mm. Alafu unapewa kidogo ni kama wanatoa na kijiko alafu. Unaweza <laughs> <laughs> kukula ugali. Ni mimi nazoea kukula vitu <laughs> kubwa kubwa eh? eh? Nataka samaki, samaki sasa hakuna hapa. Maybe kama samaki hakuna umeenda hakuna kwa jela. Yes. You see ugali ile nataka hakula hakuna. Chai sasa hiyo hakuna ni uji. Eh, ni uji yeah. pia hiyo uji pia ina sukari. Na wewe na chai good K- ni, kabisa. <laughs> <laughs> so life ilikuwa ngumu kwangu mm. ambayo most of the time hata kukawa mchana mm. nilikuwa naenda kukaa na maaskari. Mm-hmm. Yes, because I feared these guys. Yes, I really feared these guys. But there was one ambaye alikuwa amejitolea sana. Analetea maji. Analeta tu anaweka hapo anakuja ananiambia bwana hapa kama huko na do mboga ya kienyeji iko hapa hmm. kwa sababu kuna wale wanatoka nje kwa geng ya nje yeah. wanaenda kufanya usafi kwa ma DC police station hmm. uh, kuna wale pia wanachunga ngombe yeah. eh tulikuwa tunaambiwa yule anachunga ngombe kwa sababu ana kiji, ana kikombe ye sasa anakamwanga tu <laughs> eh, na hiyo maziwa pia aweze kukuletea sasa ana kitu ya kuwe <laughs> ana kitu ya kuwe <laughs> Sasa mboga anaweza chuna na alete na ipikwe bila mimi kujua ni mboga gani mm. I'll just eat it. Yes. That is what was happening to me. So ulikuwa yes. na buy food. Exactly. 
but now pesa pia isijulikani huko na pesa kwa jela yeah. yes but sasa pale so unaweza ongea na askari pesa pesa utapitisha yes. jeju pale kwa entrance mm. search ni ile yes. yeah. top notch tena kutoka nje pia ni gumu sasa Sana. pale mm. labda ukiwa unajua askari mmoja ya jela unaweza ongea na ye anawasiliana na watu yako okay. kwa sababu hata jela kuna simu hey. alafu ye sasa akipewa something anakuletea anakata yes. yake yes anakata yake anaweza kata hata yote pia anaweza kuambia pia aja aona ya jatumiwa na kuna mali utampeleka ama akitumiwa sotano anakupea msini anatoa zero moja anakupea msini so you know you can survive exactly you know you can survive mpaka 6 months kulikuwa kunaenda kukucha tu hivi na shikwa na stress mpaka saa zingine na lala tu Six months nikapewa bond nikapewa bond gumu sana in the land half a million with the two sureties two sureties yes that means kama ni title d ni mbili hapo unakuwa unasema hapo ni boda na pia am flight risk na kama naweza fly niende nchi zingine ni wache kesi yao hapo wangangane nayo na unajua mtu mwenye ame commit criminal offense hata kama anashukiwa amecommit criminal offense yeah. unatafutwa ki katiba ya Kenya unatafutwa for 999 years <laughs> imeshinda hata ile mwaka kina Abraham waliishi katika Biblia 999 years so so yes. hata kama utakufia huku yes. wapate mwili wako wataishika hata 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 hiyo body watashika na ile barrel yako kwa hiyo coffin yako wataweka pingu juu <laughs> Watu wao na testify tu wanatoa wanasema huyu alikuwa fulani fulani lakini pingu wanaweka hapo juu. You are arrested when the bible says ukifungwa hapa umefungwa hapa hata binguni. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that is it. Hey. So nikatoka bond nikafanya case while outside for four years. Hmm from 2015 mpaka 2019 nikakuja kufungwa tarehe 18 eh. December 2019 nimeshazoea life ya nje alafu siku ya judgment kwenda pale ninaambiwa umepatikana na shtaka la kujibu lakini hujapatikana na mada kwa sababu ilikuwa ni accidental mm. na bunduki pia we uko umeanza hii vita hiyo mm. ni part of the judgment lakini sasa tumekupata na alesa offense of manslaughter. Manslaughter inamaanisha ya kwamba uliua bila kushuhudia. Yeah. Accidental killing. Hivyo basi tumekufunga miaka kumi. Ah. Hapo ndio nilipata pressure. Sasa. Yes. Mzee freedom. Exactly. Freedom. Eh. Yeah. After umetoka after six months bado yes. utarudi kwa kuwa polisi. Ndio eh after Six, six months in demand yes. utarudi kuwa polisi so after six months niko under interdiction okay yes but, interdiction but, unapata pay news okay yes apata okay. mshara news <laughs> so yes 10 years yeah 10 years nikaingia jela pale 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 nilikuwa remand nikaingia pale okay. bosia prison jina nyingine inaitwa kurinda mm. ni mbaya ama inaitwa kurinda boys Yeah, lakini siku hizi hiyo jua ameniambia iko girls pia. Kwa beanza. The women prison pia imeanza. Yule ma boys ni wale wanaume. Mm-hmm. Wanaume peke yao. Mm-hmm. So my sentence was a bit kubwa. 10 years ni mingi. And then uh, being also a policeman wakaona ya kwamba they take me to aya prison. Ingi hapa pia kuna hapo unaweza potea. Hapa pia eh wanaona huyu jamaa vile tunamuona labda anaweza anaweza fikiria kutoaacha <laughs> so uh, wakani advance kutoka kwa jela ndogo mm. mpaka jela juu nikaingia jela ingine hapa inaitwa kibos maximum prison kibos na isikia yes unaona ka Kenya mzima iko maximum prisons kama tano tu yeah. kibos naivasha kamiti ile shimulatewa shimulatewa na manyani manyani yes is ngeba nikaingia hapo hapo pale ndio napata sasa pale 
wale walikuwa wanaiona kotini nikikaa na jaji wakifungwa in fact saa ile ninaingia wanasema i uda uti <laughs> umefika hapa <laughs> sisi ndio tunataka kukukaribisha nikasema wow maisha yangu sasa imeisha nikaingia wale nifuata wengine wanakuja kunikaribisha <coughs> wananikaribisha kwa jela you see wengine nao wanapeleka story kwa wengine askari ameletwa kama kuna mmoja mbili wanasema polisi ameletwa polisi ameletwa sasa almost the whole prison of 4000 people now they know you are around yes na kuna yes. na kuna wangapi huko umepeleka huko almost 40 Same prison now. I want to be with them. What to fort? What to fort? Wale nilishika wakiingia. Na wakapata vifungu kubwa kwa sababu hii jela ni maximum. <laughs> maximum inamaanisha ya kwamba ni wale watu wamefungwa kifungu cha maisha, maisha yao yote ni gereza. Hakuna kwenda nyumbani kama si court ama msamaha ya rais ama umekifungwa kifo ya kwamba nitakana unyongwe kama ile machine bado ingekuwa <laughs> ama uko na long sentence ambayo ni 10 years and above sababu kuna hata wale watu wamefungwa 900 years <laughs> ama 700 years pia wako hapo so kufungwa 900 yes 900 years 900 years no mtu amefungwa 900 years yes. kwa nini huyo mtu ni case ya refinement lakini iko na counts mingi na watoto wengi alikuwa ameon orphanage na wale watoto mayatima wadogo pia wale wametupwa wameokotwa au watoto yeye kama manager au ndio ana defile lao mpaka wengine walikufa so aliposhtakiwa akapewa hiyo kifungu ya 900 years na ni mtu ya around 65 years so 900 of guys 65 965 uh, 965 years ameishi hata kuliko <laughs> kuliko wale watu wa kitambo wa biblia wa kina abraham kina elisha exactly so wewe umeenda uduka patana mtu yes. anakuambia wewe ni holy ni anaitwa museveni <laughs> yes ni wewe nikakaa pale nikapelekwa mix block Mix block sana sana mahali imebeba wagonjwa na wazee wa kongwe. Wazee wa kongwe wale wanatembea wameruhusiwa wame, wame kuingia na bakora. E, Wameshainama. Hmm. Na wale wagonjwa sasa wanakaa kwa cells. So hapo ndio nimeenda nimepewa cell moja pale ndani. Lakini ile cell pia iko sawa kwa sababu walini treat kama askari. Wakanipea hata kitanda hapo na mattress. Lakini neta ikuwa umbo ilikuwa mingi sana. Yes. <laughs> so nikawa pale. Wakati nimeingia pale, nikaanza kufikiria maneno ya Mungu na nikaanza pia kusoma Biblia. Nikaomba Biblia askari moja ambaye ni chaplain so I was reading the Bible. And uh, nikapata kujirudia. Hiyo haikutosha. Ile shida tu, ile attack ya wale nilipeleka kujela mm. kule Busia mm-hmm. imerudi hapa tena kibosi na hapa kibosi sasa wamekuwa wengi zaidi the forty of them yes and i must be here so nikawa na stress so attack yes verbal attack or oh, verbal yes why not it was physical no verbal attack mm-hmm. maneno mm-hmm. maneno matusi mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. So mimi nikasema kuna mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Ernest Ujiambo. Mm. Alikuwa ananitetea. Mm. Mtu akiongea anasema pana huyu atakuwa anashika watu. Huyu alikuwa anafanya kazi kutini. Au anasema si ni kutini ndiye ametufunga na alikuwa pale kutini. <laughs> so ilikuwa inaendelea ku escalate. <laughs> Doto wa sonko chenye nimefanya mm. nikafikiria jinsi naweza furahisha hao watu. Mm. ambayo ni wafungwa mm-hmm. wa makosa mbalimbali mm. nikaanza football team 
kwa jela hapo kibosi football team hapo kibosi <laughs> nikawa na 11 teams tunaanza league yetu ndani ya jela ndani ya jela <laughs> kiwanja iko tunacheza football <laughs> na ena naongea na wakubwa ambao ni maaskari na wakubwa yao <laughs> na nimefurahi kuna ofisa ni charge anaitwa madam Beverly <laughs> alikuwa supportive sana kwa maeno ya sports <laughs> na akaniweka nisimamie sports baada ya kuanza teams sasa natoa kikombe trophy uh-huh. watu wanangania hiyo na ina plan league inaenda even for six months kama ya Kenya sasa mimi ndio president ya league ya jela kama ile ya Nick Mwendwa ya Kenya uh-huh. you see sasa mimi ndio Nick Mwendwa ya wafu ya wafungwa yes na ile football ya pale si ya nje ile ni kuvunjana na mara mingi Watu wanasema hiyo mpira ni ya robbery. Hiyo mpira ni ya mada. <laughs> na inakuwa ngumu kwa sababu I come from the area. Mm. Sometimes nilikuwa naongea na social welfare officers mm. ya kwamba nataka kuandika barua mtuletee local team ikuje mm-hmm. tucheze nayo. Mm-hmm. Nina draft letter na wapea. Alafu wale wana respond kama wanakuja ama wakuji. Mm. Wanasema hatuwezi kuja hapo tutavunjwa. Hatuwezi kucheza na macriminals. <laughs> ndamlikuwa mnapata chances za kucheza na outsiders. Yes. Okay. Yes. Kwa sababu Madam Beverly the officer in charge uh, ya Kibos Maximum Security Prison mm. alikuwa supportive sana kwa maeno ya sports. Mm. Yes, kwa sababu inasaidia wafungwa mm. kufikiria mabaya hapana sasa ile wako engage kwa mpira yeah. wanashangilia wanataka mm. kama mfurahia na Filipina. Exactly. Wanasahau mashinda zao. Exactly. <laughs> so I tried. Na from here siku moja nikiwa nimevaa zebra zebra ni ile ile nguo ya jela mm. unaona iko na kala ya zebra okay. kabisa yes. mwenye alikuwa polisi sasa amevaa nguo ya nguru wa nguru yeah. PS anakuja na CS mm. na commissioner general mm-hmm. wanaingia kwa jela wamekuja tu kuangalia jela mm-hmm. alafu dakika kidogo wanasema wanataka kuongea na wafungwa kuona wafungwa wajue shida yao yeah. sasa ofisai charge na timu yake kama mbioni ndio hiyo nani ataongea mwenye aweze toa uchi yao na pia wezi ari nani anasimama na ukweli lakini ata balance yeah. ili kwa sababu ukichafuliwa wataenda yeah. usie na uenda hapo pia ni mzuri kwa <laughs> mzuri kwa wafungwa pia wanataka mwenye anawatetea yeah. sababu chakula labda uh, ni kidogo mm. kila mtu anakuwa na shida yake yeah. ninaitwa hapo hapo <laughs> naambia wewe ndio unaongea kuna baba ya wafungwa nikasema eh hey, nitaongea aje mm. mbele ya wale wanaitusi kila siku ya kwamba nilichangia na niliashika wakajipata kwa jela mm. si wananipigia kelele mm. ama watasema huyu hawezi ongea kwa niaba yetu mbele ya wageni mm. tunataka mwenye ataongea nikaomba Mungu nikapewa nafasi so uh, yes. you na boy nafasi ni after how long ukiwa okay, sasa jela Six months. Six months. Na nimepata watu hapa wamekaa miaka na miaka. Eh, si. Even 30 years wako hapo. Eh. Eh, ninapewa nafasi. Kaomba Mungu, kaomba Mungu. Nikaongea. Nikaongea kuhusu haki ya wafungwa na pia haki ya maaskari pia. Mm. Wafungwa wapate malazi, wapate pia maji safi. Mm na watetewe pia kotini court at least iite au mapema kama wako na appeals. Yeah. Maaskari pia nikawatetea nyumba yao yangaliliwe mm. na pia mshahara mm. kwa sababu wanafanya kazi mzuri ya kutufundisha hapa. In fact si maaskari mm. ni walimu wetu mm. na tumewapenda. <laughs> When I talk like that mm. the PS alisimama akamwambia ofisa in charge madam Beverly Nebusi mama bona huyu hajapewa trusti kundwe kuna jela pale kuna rank tofauti ya wafungwa yes akasema apewe trusti sahi nilitolewa nguo hiyo ya kunguru nikapewa sasa kaunda suti ya blue <laughs> within six months within six months na hii huwa watu wanavaa hata baada ya miaka 20 kupewa trusti yes nilipewa 
wakae nimepewa nikafanywa pia kiongozi ya wafungwa wote kabla mfungwa afike kwa wakubwa wanapita kwangu wananieleza shida yao ndio mimi nawasilisha kwao <laughs> ikawa sasa nikaona pia chakula pia imebadilika aya sasa siendi kupanga line e, nikiwekewa ile haraka ile ile ugali nusu nusu uji nusu ugali <laughs> sahi sasa ninapewa mafuta mafuta yangu ninapewa kila siku ya, ku, ya kupika food. yes <laughs> chakula yangu imeongezeka <laughs> sukari ninapewa kilo moja after one week <laughs> see ndio nimekuwa mdozi yeah. naona ile <laughs> <laughs> wale wenye alikuwa anakutana ndio hiyo sasa wanaweza kuja kwangu naita trusty <laughs> unisaidie sukari kidogo <laughs> nawasaidia sasa nikaona wameanza ku change <laughs> eh, nikaanza ku build pia uhusia uhusiano <laughs> nao kabisa kabisa kadelea ndio hiyo mm. maisha ime change sasa kabisa mm. ime change hata unaweza sahau sasa kurudi nyumbani kwa sababu ni kama nyumbani <laughs> kwa comfort kwa nivenye tu freedom ya exactly. kwa sasa freedom ndio hakuna but trust hizo na lawili wangu wanaweza toka wakiwa wametumwa bila yes. kuchungwa yes <laughs> sasa ikaanza hata mimi naweza tumwa hata nje mm. siwe kuipingu sasa natembea tu wanaweza nituma nje ninarudi yes maisha ikawa ime change kwa sababu ya tabia nilijirudia na pia wale wakaona mm. na maisha ika change from that time wakaleta trainings mbalimbali mbali ya theolojia mm. ikawa hizo trainings pia mimi na nasimamia cuz i could mobilize pizo na sarakaraka waone kama askari ndiye anafanya hii si hata mimi nifanye yeah. so nilifanya theology mpaka haya diploma mm-hmm. nika graduate pale wow. nikafanya another two diplomas with different colleges mm-hmm. but the theology theology mm-hmm. so niko na haya diploma diploma mbili pia mm-hmm. na nikatwanya pia 14 certificates in theology or ya theology hiyo so, biblia nimesoma kutoka genesis mpaka revelation karibu mara 20 ah because i had all the time yeah yes ile ni lexasi kwa nasoma nikiwa nje yes and so and what propelled you to do that ama it is the, it was the only thing that you had access to i realized mm. ya kwamba mungu yuko because the changes nilikuwa naona kwa jela nilikuwa naona kama ni mkono wa mungu niliingia pale kama nimedharauliwa hata na wafungwa kwa sababu askari ameingia wengine hata wanasema huko ana pesa huko ana pesa ungefika hapa mm. yes mungu akainua nikawa kiongozi yao kama ile ya maisha ya Yusufu mm-hmm. ukisoma Genesis 37 yeah. nikainuliwa mpaka sasa hata askari ninaweza itwa na niulizwe kama wafungwa wako sawa mm. ama kuna shida mm. what i tell them is what they do nikwambia ugali ni kidogo wanaongeza unga <laughs> nikwambia mboga ni kidogo <laughs> wanaongeza nishe <laughs> exactly for their benefit yeah. so ikawa wakaanza kunipenda wale wafungwa sasa siku moja kuna institute inaitwa uraia uraia yes uh-huh. wana train prisoners paralegal wale wanaosaidia other prisoners kwa maeneo yao ya kutini uh-huh. walipokuja nikachaguliwa pia mimi ndio nisomeshwe wow nikasomeshwa nikapata certificate in paralegal nilipo kwa kibos mm. 56 people when they need to get appeal wako nyumbani 56 of 56 them. of them wako nyumbani wale wachiliwa wale wachiliwa mfungwa mwenye pia amefungwa akiandika appeal watu wanaenda ikawa ni mshangao kwa jela mzima pako ofisi ya nchi siku moja akaniita kwa ofisi yake mm. mm. akaniambia saidi yao lakini kuna kitu tunakuandikia kwa warat warat ni faili yao mm. yangu wakaniwekea pale 1500 kwa ile kazi ninafanya nikiwa mfungo kwa mfungo wow si so wafungo wakuja wakanipenda asubuhi ni kama niko na ofisi 
Mali ni nalala wamejaa kila mtu na file yake. Trusty this idea. Hata yule Mseveni alikuja. Na moja alikuwa anasema wewe ni wewe. Nilimtolea ushahidi. Eh ushahidi wewe. Sasa amekuja Mseveni. Amekuja nikusaidia. Nikamsaidia. Na tukiongea saa hii aliwachiliwa kwa sababu robari yake ilikuwa kidogo. Ye roba yake alikuwa na njaa akakuta mama anauza mandazi kando ya barabara mandazi tu kidogo kando ya barabara hata si kwa soko akachukua hiyo mandazi yote akaenda naye asiangebeba kidogo hata hakunyang'anya yeye pesa yenye ameshauza akaenda mandazi so nilipwa pill pia nimwapilia nipo maandikia pill one of the grounds ile niliweka ni ya kwamba huyo ni njaa tu ilikuwa namsumbua kwa sababu hana kazi na ni yatima yes kwa hivyo sasa hii ameshafanya course hapa ya carpentry. Mm. Sasa mandazi yeye atakuwa anajinulia mandazi ama unga ya chapu, atengeneza chapu si mandazi. Ana alienda, aliwachiliwa. <laughs> Alisema aje after. <laughs> Alikuja mwenyewe. Alikuacha jela. Alikuja, aliniwacha jela. Lakini kabla atoke aende, eh. alikuja akanisalimia na mkono mwili. Nikamwambia Mungu akubariki sana. Yaani ulimsaidia kuingia jela bado ukamsaidia <laughs> kutoka. <laughs> kuingia na kutoka. <laughs> eh? Sasa kuna jamaa pia alikuwa amefungwa life. Mzee kabisa kwa kesi ya defilement. Pia hivyo hivyo. Lakini yeye akuachiliwa alipewa miaka tatu. Hiyo ni kaka kuachiliwa. Yes, kama kuachiliwa. Kwa sababu hiyo miaka tatu alikuwa amemaliza. Akawachiliwa kaenda. Siku maliza hapa kibos na angalia record ni safi. Nikasema nataka nitoke kwa hii jela kubwa. Mm. Jela kubwa iko na masharti yake. As much as nilikuwa napewa kila kitu na freedom, ni na timu ya mpira. Mm. Mimi ni msimamizi yao. Nikasema hapa nikikaa tu kuji enjoy kwa jela, sitatoka kwa jela. Mm. Nikaomba kwenda jela ndogo, nikaomba nirudishwe Busia. Mhm. Ofisa chaja kaniambia awezi nirudisha Busia lakini atanipeleka ndela yoyote yenye iko karibu mm. wiki moja iko isha akanitengenezea kericho jela ndogo wow. nikaingia kericho <laughs> nikapata bwana jela hata iko na duka ha? duka mkate iko maziwa iko kila kitu nyingo kwa duka iko isipokuwa sigara ndio uzi pale na pombe duka imetoka duka iko na... kwa sababu ya uhusiano mzuri mm. na yule mkubwa na wafungwa pia wako na tabia mzuri okay. kabisa <laughs> akawekea duka pale mm. na hiyo duka si ati unatumia pesa yako kuna pesa imeandikwa pale kwa file ya kila mtu inaitwa warrant mm. ukitaka kitu wewe unasema tu ukitaka mkate wanaedact huko ofisi mm. mali imeweko na life inakuwa mzuri so wewe ulikuwa yes. na 5k yes imeandikwa exactly nika kwa place kuna bread kila siku bread kila siku so bado utaenda huko ukiwa bado trusty yes nikaenda pale ndikuwa bado trust tena pale sasa ndio nikawa sasa nikawa sasa na madaraka kubwa sasa hata kuliko nikawa na karibu na askari <laughs> nikawa sasa karibu na askari yes nikawa sasa pale wamenipenda function nyingine ilikuja ya governor mm. governor mutai uh, unarebo mutai governor ya kericho mm. tulikuwa na thanksgiving pale december last year mm-hmm. tarehe 30 mm. tulikuwa na thanksgiving pale and uh, ofisa ni chaja kanita kaniambia mimi nitaongea kwa thanksgiving mimi oh. ndio nitasema yale Mungu ametenda hapo mm. na ananiambia yule niko na only one month hapo kericho <laughs> atiko na one month one month nimetoka kibos desemba mwezi wa 11 tarehe 8 mm. desemba 30th niko kericho naambia mimi ninaongea kwa neva ya wafungwa kwa ili uzuri Mungu amefanya kericho just see nikasema ni sawa governor akukuja akatuma first lady bye ni mke yake akakuja nikaongea nikamaliza yeye mwenyewe anaanza kunipigia makofi mm. sasa nikaendelea na ile ya kusaidia wafunga kuandika pill watu wanaenda wao wanasema wewe ni lawyer sasa mimi si wakili mimi ni mfungwa mm. lakini criminal law nilifanya na hiyo paralegal kumbe kusaidia watu jinsi umekuja kunisaidia ili story yangu isikike mm. 
unanisaidia na unasaidia Kenya mzima yeah. na Afrika mzima na dunia mzima all this time nilikuwa na pending appeal ambayo ilikuwa imekaa sana bila kusikizwa mm-hmm. si kwa nimeitwa hata kutini hata once hata once appeal ulituma after nilituma appeal one week baada ya kufungwa na hii inakuja tena 2023 after four years yes sinaitwa siku moja nimekaa ndani ya cell mm. tulikuwa tunakaa tano sasa kilicho nilipata askari wengi sasa haikuwa mimi peke yangu mm. sasa tukaweka askari tano pamoja wale wameasi wale wamekosa wale wamefungwa mm. sasa si askari tena mm. lakini tumepewa nyumba mo, nyumba moja kidogo 6x8 so you are not the first police exactly to be like exactly. arrested ever. exactly hapo nimepata wenzangu hata nimesema kumbe ningekuja tu hapa mapema <laughs> na kwa encourage <laughs> kidogo nikasema si mimi peke yangu mm. na kibozi nilikuwa naona kama ni mimi peke yangu mm. yes nikapata wewe zangu pale tunapiga story siku moja nimekaa nasikia askari mmoja anaitwa Ototo unajua sasa mimi koti yangu ni Busia mm. nasikia tu ninaitwa nikaitika yes sir pale ndakana unaitia kwa sauti yes sir yeah. e, hata kama yeah. unaitwa Otieno mm. lakini kuitika lazima uko uko juu yes mimi <laughs> naweza sema mtoto wa sonko yes sir hivyo <laughs> sasa <laughs> nikatoka akaniambia what you do mm. umeitwa kotini mm. sasa pale si physically ni through skype kwa kwa kwa, kwa hiyo computer <laughs> yes through video link mm. naenda pale napata jaji naambia apili yako imekaa sana yeye anaitwa Karanja mm. jaji Karanja mzee kabisa akona kipara kabisa eh. e, mzee akona experience ya kazi Yes, kuna miwani. Tena ameteremusha kidogo na bwana hii. Eh. Hii. Amia James Otieno. Yes. Hii, yes. 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 pili yako imekaa sana. Huko tayari kusikizwa. Nikasema, "Yes sir." Kama venye nilitika huko. Mm. Amia sawa. Nakupea 20 minutes. Ji organize. Kote imeenda break, uletwe. Askari, ulete yeye. Ana 20 minutes, nikaletwa. Akaniambia nimepata kila kitu yako ulikuwa umeandika kitambo sana ata submission iko hapa. Mm. Ungependa usaliwe na mwana gani? Nikamwambia mheshimiwa mimi nimerekebika. Na naomba mahakama inipe second chance na uangalie file kwa sababu nilifanya case. Na kuna mahali nilikuwa naona kama nimedhulumika mm. ambayo nimeandika kwa ground zangu. Sikuwa lakini nilikuwa na uwawa. I acted on my self defense but all in all hata kama mahakama inaweza ona ya kwamba nilichangia kwa njia moja ama nyingine nimeomba Mungu msamaha na nimeomba reconciliation kwa wale nilikosea ninaomba second chance alipoangalia mm. file akaona certificates ishirini. ile nimepata kwa jela <laughs> Akaniambia hii shirini yote ni yako. Mm. ni yangu mheshimiwa. Na wewe ni trustee? Yes sir, kwa sababu ya hii nguo unaona. Wewe pia ni paralegal? Ndimesaidia wengi. Mm. Kibos almost 57. Hapa kilicho tangoni kuje within one month, karibu 40. Wameenda 40. Aile askari pia anasema mheshimiwa, huyu toa tu. <laughs> huyu, huyu toa. <laughs> Yule askari jaja anaandika mm. anasema judgment after two weeks Two weeks ikifika nikaenda mm. anaambia James Otieno before yes. judgment yes. For in these two weeks yes. what was going through your mind Nilikuwa najua nimewachiliwa because of what I saw you didn't have any I, doubt I didn't have any doubt kwa sababu mm. ya ile kazi nimefanya kwa jela kazi ya Mungu mm. mimi ni pastor by the way Yeah. Nilikuwa na ubiri kwa jela asubuhi, watu wakikunywa uji. Mimi na ubiri kwa kiwanja, wanasema huyu amechanganyikiwa kili. Huyu ame, amepata wokovu ya jela. Mbona hapo kuja hapa kama ameokoka? Hakuna askari ameokoka. Askari yai ni kujipendelea kwa wakubwa. Unasikia? Mm. But I was praying and I was preaching to them. I knew ni God's time imefika. Na kwa sababu niliona nime reform mm. na everybody could testify. Nikaona hii ni wakati wangu. Hii ni wakati wangu. 
like ukisoma the book of first kings chapter 8 verse 46 downwards mm. wakati wangu ilikuwa imefika yeah. wakati imebaki siku moja mm. yule askari alikuwa anaambia bwana mimi najua Mungu anaweza kukusaidia lakini kesi yako ni mbaya ayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayayay
kuna vitu mingi inafanyika kwa jela sodomi iko kwa jela na watu wanaambukizana ugonjwa kupitia sodomi kwa jela au ni wale watu wa miluzo hupu. kuna watoto wadogo hata kama ni 18 wako kwa jela they are being misused by wale watu wakubwa wako kwa jela wale wafungo wakubwa wanadhulumiwa sana kwa sababu kama una sabuni au kitu ya mkate ya maziwa sasa itabidi ujiuze ujifanye mwanamke hiyo ni mbaya na inaribu maisha yenu mukae kama mimi kwa hiyo muda yenye nimekaa sikuwahi fanya hivyo na Mungu akanisaidia ya pili muwe na hope hata pili ikichelewa petition ikichelewa mujue time inakuja na ikifika according to the book of galatians chapter 4 verse number 4 the right time ikifika Mungu atakusaidia na pia jaribu sana ubadilike kama uko jela ulikuja na sababu na hiyo sababu kaa chini we mwenyewe ujiulize imeshinda kucheza karata kucheza kanea kupiga story zenye zifai kaa chini ujioji we mwenyewe angalia ni mahali gani ulikosea na ubadilike ukibadilika njia zako zinaanza kufunguliwa na Mungu anakufungulia muwe pia na nidhamu mkiwa na nidhamu kwa wageni wale wanakuja ndani ya jela na kwa wale maofisas walimu wenu na kwa wakubwa wenye wako pale surely Mungu atawatendea vile anatendea kunipea trust after six months yeah. na pia utapewa barua ya kutoka kwa jela mzuri jinsi hata mimi nilipewa kwa wale maaskari kwa peace wenzangu imekuwa ni trend Kenya hii ya kwamba APs are trigger happy trigger happy trigger happy ni ya kwamba kila problem wana solve kwa ku press trigger risasi toke hata mm-hmm. maneno ya bibi na bwana unataka ku solve maneno ya kusana kidogo na risasi na risasi ikitoka imeua ikiua utaenda kwa jela na utafungwa ukikosana na mtu kwa ba unarudi kwa nyumba unaenda kwa amari unachukua bunduki ya kamba unaenda kazi unaenda kuoa muache hiyo tabia ili jina ya kikosi ya EP iwe mzuri sahihi nikitaja EP najua haiko ilibadilishwa ni sipu watu wangu wa sipu serikali imewapea jukumu ya kulinda wananchi na mali yao tafadhali tumia bunduki na risasi kisheria usiuwe usidhulumu mtu na risasi mimi nimeumia na nimepoteza muda mrefu kwa sababu gani yangu was misused when in my hands ningependa niwe wa mwisho askari mwisho kuingia kwa jela na ningependa niwe the very very last askari ya EP ambaye ni sipu kuingia katika jela Musikuje katika jela na si ya kutokuja katika jela ukikosana kinyumba kama msolve maneno kama ni ngumu muende hata kwa guidance and counseling prepare hata pasa ya kanisa waombe but usiwahi chukua bunduki na risasi ukitaka ku solve nao maisha hiyo ni kuua na sheria itakuwa ndama na utasikia vizuri utapoteza pia kwa nchi yetu sisi kama maaskari ningesema hivi tufanye vizuri jinsi serikali inataka bunduki ni ya serikali tusitumie bunduki kwa kazi zetu za kibinafsi itatuletea shida hatutajikuta katika jela na jela si mali mzuri hata mkiniona hivi ni miezi mbili tu baada ya kutoka kwa jela lakini hii ni mwili ya ukoo huko nimeumea huko hakuna freedom huko hakuna hata chai ile unakunywa huko hata soda hakuna ile mattress ya Eden City unalalia pale ni mattress inji moja ama inji mbili na imetumika for the last 20 years ina maana si mattress tena imeraruka na pia wanyama wale wanaitwa chawa na kunguni wako ndani ya hiyo mattress pamoja wanakungoja ukuje pale ni ngumu sana askari 
akiwa kwa jela iko madharau kubwa kutoka kwa wale wafungwa wengine ambao lazima watajua tulikuwa maaskari kwa hivyo askari jiadhari sana kwa maisha yako jua Mwenyezi Mungu na uti sheria jinsi unalinda sheria ili mwananchi wa kaida pia atii sheria na waombea mema na Mungu awabariki sana <laughs> Santi sana so, Asante. kuna kitu umeongelelea kuhusu maskari watumie bunduki yao kwa kazi asitumie kwa personal reasons uh, almost two months ago tumekuwa na msema kwa in prison for 15 years na alikuwa na kombo ngani from a police officer yes. Eh well, uliaja zipata in those kind of scenarios where by thugs wana come mm. kukomba bunduki ama ushai approachiwa. Sijawahi approachiwa mm. lakini nimekuwa na friend pale Bosia alikuwa anaitwa Washira. Mm. Yes, Washira alikuwa rafiki yangu na kuna wakati alidanganywa. Alidanganywa gani yake ikaenda ikafanya maneno pale kurinda kwa duka kwa Mpesa ikawa ile probox wakati imeshaiba probox imekwama. Sasa wakachukuliwa na ile bunduki kachukuliwa. Mm-hmm. Alipitia kutini. Lakini ya pili limesaidia. So ni kitu ninajua. Most of officers are doing this. Mm-hmm. Wacha tutosheke mm-hmm. na ile mshahara yetu. Hiyo mm-hmm. mshahara inatosha kama tumejipanga mzuri. Mimi nimekaa hiyo muda yote na mshahara nusu hata kama siioni sababu ilikuwa inatumika kusomesha mtoto yangu mm. lakini niko naomba Mungu anirudishe kazi fuli tosheka kama mimi nimeridhika hiyo muda yote kutoka 2015 mpaka saa hii hiyo ni almost 8 years unaweza ridhika na hiyo hata kama uko na loan jitrain tu wewe unaweza itumia lakini anasa maisha ya raha pia tukiwacha tunapunguza matumizi ya pesa. Mm. Ukiwa na wife, wependa wife yako. Ukiwa askari pia usipende yule yule msichana amependwa na askari mwenzako. And that has been my slogan nikiwa kwa jela because now I'm a public speaker. Hapa mm. ndio shida inatokea. Unaenda kwa ba. I have a friend called Okisai Philip. Philip Okisai ako kibosu mpaka saa hii. Yes. Amefungwa ile kifungu inaitwa PP. Inaitwa presidential pleasure. Ye anaweza toka kwa jela tu kwa pleasure ya rais. Kwa sababu ile matendo alifanya pale Fonyula kwa ba ilionekana ya kwamba kile yake si mzuri. Yeah, Alienda kwa ba na girlfriend kwa ba. Na kweli kweli waiter mwenye anafanya kwa ba unajua hiyo ni kazi yake ya kuuza pombe ndi analipwa na wezi uhudumia wanawake peke yake kwa ba atahudumia mpaka wanaume mm. na ndiyo pia hata yeye apate chakula yake lazima kae na wanaume wengine wakikunywa si ni kweli wewe umeipersonalize kama rafiki yako kama girlfriend yangu na hujamuoa hujamuoa hujaweka kwa nyumba yako unaletewa bari ukiwa kazi ya kwamba bibi anauza pombe na nakunywa na wengine na hapo ni mahali anafanya kazi unakuja na bunduki unaua watu nane kwa hiyo meza what is that what are we doing police officers it is high time to reason ya kwamba yule mwanamke hujaoa hujaoa ukikaa kama umeoa penda huyo msichana ukae na e ni bibi yako penda e bila kwenda kupenda wengine kwa ba itakuletea shida yes so ni common kwa sababu nimekuwa askari na nimekuwa mshirati sana. Mpaka mm-hmm. nikaingia jela nikajua ya kwamba ushirati si mzuri. Toache kupenda wanawake inaleta shida. Chukua bibi moja tulia nayo. Atakusaidia kwa maendeleo ukiwa kazi anafanya maendeleo. Ukimdharau ukimuonyesha text kwa simu anapata uenda utapata shida jinsi nilipata shida. Lakini sasa nimewaambia mu avoid kuwa na extramarital affairs. Penda mke wako kana hiyo mke moja. Kama unataka kuongeza bibi, we ongeza officially kama umejulisha huyu. Lakini maneno ya kuenda tena ate mwenye amekupenda na umependa, pia unaenda una mada. My friend si poa. Mungu atakujaji na pia sheria ya nchi itakujaji. 
utalanda kwa prison utakuwa umepoteza kila kitu na pia huko juu mbinguni pia Mungu pia anakongoja kwa mo kwa moto wow. so umetoka last year mm. life imekwaje no umetoka this year this year mwezi wa pili <laughs> this is april <laughs> no, no, kama ni last year bwana <laughs> <laughs> april nimetoka tu february hapo ah. this is the second month now april yes life ikoaje life inje ni challenging kwa sababu sifanye job bado ndio ni kwa process ya kufuata kama Mungu atanisaidia andrudishe mm. ama nipate pia job kwingine kama hiyo haitafaulu naomba kwa sababu mimi ni mtu nimesoma Mungu anijalia nikasoma mm. uh, niko na degree in criminology and security management criminal laws mm. uh, pia ma theologian yeah. and 16 mm. certificates in theology yeah. uh, pia certificate in human resource from university of nairobi mm-hmm. and uh, kama mtu yote akona chance yule anaweza ni accommodate na nione kama ni green pasture i can forgo even kufuatilia hii ya, ya polisi mm-hmm. yes <laughs> if i can recover so fast i can be so happy yeah. Yes. Sure. Kindly mm-hmm. ongelesha watazamaji and tell them if msi yako na any kind of help of job opportunity. Mm-hmm. Ama pia msi amesikiza mm-hmm. history yako na ko in the high ranks of the police mm-hmm. na department ama the security department na naweza taka kukuita for that mm-hmm. uh, interview ndio waone ama watakurudisha. Just mm-hmm. tell them vyo unaweza kufikia. Oh. <laughs> Najua mnatamani. Eh. Wada ni wape namba 07 5 8882767 nitarudia 0758382767 pale facebook niko ninaitwa James Koli Aomo TikTok pia niko. Ulijoy? Yes, niko pale kabisa. Sijawachi wa nyuma, sijazeeka. Hata <laughs> juzi nilikuona. Tafanya TikTok. Asante. <laughs> Asante. <laughs> pale ni at uh, Pastor Koli James uh-huh. utanipata pale. Awesome. Eh. At Pastor Koli James. Yes, that's great. I know tumego to keep on this for a very long time. <laughs> Asante. Back and forth. Mm-hmm. Nataka kushukuru sana sana eh. my friend here yeah, um, mtoto wa Sonko eh. tumepanga kabisa ule tundekutana Nairobi tumecheka eh. tumejuana yeah. tumepanga muda mrefu yeah. na mimi nimefurahi vile umewacha kazi zako kwa sababu ninajua huko na busy schedule yeah. na pia mimi nimefurahi ile kazi unafanya na kuombea Mungu aendelee kukupea maono mingi mm. na aendelee kukubariki kwa sababu sahi history yangu imesikika mm. na ninajua naenda kusaidika yeah, na si mimi peke yangu yeah. tangu wanze hii nikiangalia youtube naona ni watu wengi pia yeah. unasaidia sure. kwa hivyo mimi pia naomba yule mtu anasikia akiona huyu kijana mdogo pia kama kuna mahali pia unaweza kutana na ye. pia we umboost <laughs> ili sasa pia ye aendelee sasa apite hata Kenya aende Afrika mzima na dunia mzima kwa sababu kijana mtoto ya songo ni wetu <laughs> na mpaka tujenge yetu Kwenye. asante yes so ulipata chance ya reconcile na familia yako because ukiingia jela walikuwa some differences yes <laughs> nilifanya right nikiwa kwa jela nilituma the local administrators mm. the chief and the assistant chief Mm-hmm. together with my parents mm-hmm. na walienda pale na waka reconcile mm-hmm. we are in talking terms tunabonga awesome. tunapigana simu mm-hmm. tunakutana tunaongea mm-hmm. tunabonga pamoja tuko chachu hata moja aya asa tunacheka mm-hmm. tumesameana yes. hata juzi walikuwa nataka kunipea bibi mm-hmm. nikasema hapo nae ndio siku kubali wanataka kukupea bibi sister ya, ya sister ya marehemu <laughs> <laughs> Hapo ndio ni unikasema kidogo hapo nimeweka break kidogo. Hapo <laughs> uhusiano hivyo idara ya zongo. Ndio ngupe sister sister ya bibi yangu. Yes. Sita bibi yangu. Ah. Uhusiano iko mzuri. Mm. Nikasema nimeshukuru lakini sitaweza. So sasa una pango nataka kutulia kwa kwanza somerada kwanza. Uh, Wacha nitulie kwanza mm. nisome rada 
nipate mali ya kujishikilia kwa sababu msana ya wenyewe yeah. lazima nitaoa tena mm. lakini sasa lazima nioe kama iko shamba mm. iko kaduka mm. iko mahali inaleta mapato okay. ndio kwa sababu ukioa mm. unajua watoto pia wako laini wanakuja yeah, sasa watoto pia wasiombe mm. tutasiombe ombe okay. tukule yetu ile tumetengeneza okay. sababu so, na asul nikitafuta <laughs> ili akikuja sasa akule mzuri so, na nikioa sitaoa chini ya maji venelewa ile last time yeah. hii itakuwa ni wedding kwa sababu sasa hii ni pasta Ah. kama ni askari pasta <laughs> sasa rusi utakuja lazima kabisa yeah. asante <laughs> what about your daughter sahi yes sheri lako aku jss mm-hmm. junior secondary school mm-hmm. she is doing well mm-hmm. na mimi ndio nalipa nikisaidiwa na familia yangu great yes so she is a girl uh, one what She's message can you say 11 years mm-hmm. sheri nakupenda i love you so much You are my daughter, you are my mom and I love you so much. God bless you and God bless you so much. God continue to uplift you. I know you love me and I love you so much. Dad loves you so much. I'll continue to take good care of you and you will get everything that you need. She understands English. Wow. That's yes. great. Yeah, very wise. It's very wise. That's yes, awesome. very wise. I'm very happy to yes. see how you are positive and hata mtu mtakapata leo ukivo kwa barabara unless you tell them yes kwenye umetoka in your story yes. no one no one can even think of what you've gone through yes. and i'm very glad and happy for god also for giving you the grace yes. and uh, for everything and also thank you for each and every one of you yes. when you met to watch for almost two yes. hours you know yes. it's not in vain yes. and i know me check out ko motivated mm. we have learned something <laughs> to each and every ex police mm. ama kila police mwe na to watch up hivyo please na jua mja subscribe yes also subscribe, also subscribe. Yeah. yes subscribe and also yes. if you know of any help of like meza mfikia ametupia namba yake yes. if you have any help or yes. hand to extend meza mfikia can call him also to give him a word of encouragement yes. and also for When you bado you are our fans thank you very much for watching and thank you for sharing this video fine wide na ina kwanga iko fit and also by the way give this video a thumbs up like yes. this video and also it's not in vain to stay out of crime yes. because crime my lipi yes for sure crime my lipi yes. makasiriko ilipi yes. and uh, yeah thank you for each and every one of you mm-hmm. and thank you for the guy ever behind the scenes right mm-hmm. and go dik for always supporting this team so, so thank you for the team <laughs> yeah to get tv for making yes. this happen you know wase wana ni nanga mimi hapa the big team behind yes. this yeah and uh mm-hmm. pure we don't take it for granted thank you for always supporting us whenever mm-hmm. we are doing these videos mm-hmm. and uh, you can also follow us on each and every social media platform kama mm-hmm. to get tv and also the guy ever behind the scenes and akonga mm-hmm. musician i told the Derek you can go and subscribe to his youtube channel and watch some music of is in njoo tu mtabambika pia nyinyi na bado unaweza ni follow on each and social media platform kama mtu wa songo and until our next video tuna nini thank you santi santi sana wazi sana